This must be a slow news day. You see that picture right there? That's comedian Kathy Griffin. You see the screen crawler? This is CNN. Comic trash talk makes news. Drudge Report. It must be a slow news day for the Drudge Report because he puts up Kathy Griffin, who is no stranger to controversy, on the front page of his Drudge Report. Pathetic. I mean, we got so many things happening in our country, we're worried about Kathy Griffin. For those who are not aware, Kathy Griffin has said some controversial comments while being heckled on CNN. A heckler had bothered her and she said a four-letter word. You want me to say it? Well, I'm not going to say it. You can watch it on YouTube. I mean, this is his front page story. They got a lot of other issues on there. Talking about the Israeli-Palestine war, I guess. Put Nancy Pelosi in a bad light once again. More stories about Obama. Phony outrage, of course. And his screen crawler there says Senator Kennedy. Sources close to governor believe so. <sighs> For every drudge report, there's the Huffington Post. The Huffington Post's top story says Israeli ground invasion appears imminent. But, of course, officials, it's Caroline Kennedy. And, of course, they got to get their dig at Fox News by saying Fox News airs Magic Negro message on New Year's broadcast. So what was going on on CNN, CNN New Year's, a Kathy Griffin Dix comment. Hmm. And Fox News airs Magic Negro message on New Year's broadcast. YouTube and Think Progress had caught the screensaver, I guess. The screen crawler says, Happy New Year and let's hope the Magic Negro does a good job. Love, Jen and John C. In this sad Rush Limbaugh and conservative satirist Paul Shanklin are under fire once again for Barack the Magic Negro. Chip Saltman, who is contesting for the seat at the Republican National Committee, had distributed copies of Paul Shanklin's We Hate the USA. Unfortunately, he's caught firestorm. And many people are asking Chip Saltman to rescind his nomination for the RNC chair. Now, you think Fox News and CNN are controversial? Let's go to Joe Scarborough on MSNBC. You notice the guy on the right, on the left is Joe Scarborough. That's Joe Scarborough on Morning Joe and WABC Talk Radio. I'm going to stop right there. As you can tell, each three networks each three networks had said controversial things in the past regarding Obama and McCain. Uh, each network has their share of controversy, as well as the Drudge Report, Huffington Post, and YouTube, who gladly posts it for those to watch. I'm going to tell you something. What does Kathy Griffin, Joe Scarborough, and a Fox News crawler have to do with the economy? What does it have to do with the two wars, the home foreclosure crisis, the banking crisis, the auto bailout, 
among other things, the divided nation we're living in. I mean, we're having such turmoil in our country. We're worried about petty things like Kathy Griffin. We got a country fighting a disputed territory over pettiness. Now, I'm not supporting Israel or Palestine, but that is, seems to be the challenges that Barack Obama will face once he's sworn in. President Bush is already trying to figure out a solution to this crisis, but yet the Drudge Report puts on Kathy Griffin. The Huffington Post rebuttals, and Joe Scarborough has a seven-second delay whenever he talks. This is what we do for a living. People like me who blog talk about issues. And those who are critics love to always criticize that. But you know what? This is what dumbing down America is about.